previously on Tales of Berseria. Oh look, Lafacette has a butler outfit. I didn't even realise we had this. That's so cute. Should I take it from the top? If you would, my arms are all I'll be needing. What? Why did he cut his head off? What are you doing? I thought he was going to make him a Don't sword. Don't be alarmed. I'm just cutting free some raw materials for the sword. But now he can't see what he's doing. <laughs> Isn't that going to be awkward? You see something new every day. This is going to create some intense drama in the group, isn't it? It's just going to be drama all over the place because Velvet's really not like respecting the feelings of her party members and she's just literally just using all of her party members just to get to Artorius. Hello uh, and welcome, my name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to the boisterous world of Tales of Berseria because everybody in this world is like really aggressive, boisterous and just not very nice so far anyway well i suppose you can't really categorize lafacette in that because lafacette is probably the only one that's really kind kind natured and i suppose not all of them are boisterous i mean i guess it's just velvet and rockaroo really those two are like the most boisterous that's why i think they should be together because they're just as bad as each other they're a really bad. <laughs> Aizen's just unlucky. Magalu is just weird. Eleanor is just a little bit... what's the word? Gullible, I suppose? But Lafacette is too. But anyway, I've got an expedition that I want to quickly check out. We found some mystery meat. Breadcrumbs, animal figurine. We found some really weird things on our voyages. But okay. Oh, we got a recipe. Dwarven Salisbury Surprise. This succulent patty overflows with juices, but where the meats came from is a mystery. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I'd want to eat it if it's a mystery. <laughs> Skill for next voyage. Scholarly drive. Okay, well, I guess we'll go to the exact same place because we still haven't found all of the treasures from that area yet. We've still got a little a little ways to go. Still got a few little bits to find is what I mean. Okay, so let's talk to the final party member and see what happens afterwards. Rokuro, Kurogane. I just do not understand them. You saw them. Demons. We're crazy. Sure, but they go through life with such crystal clear sense of purpose. Even demons have things they're not willing to let go. Or do you think us mere animals, running around killing people left and right? I know, I know. I understand demons still have a certain consciousness, but I look at those two and they seem passionate, like normal people. Well, I've yet to meet a human so passionate he'd chop his own head off. Do you have a purpose like they do? I do, in fact. Ever since Artorius used my brother as a sacrifice. Typical demon nonsense. The Abbey exists to protect the people. Yes, sometimes cold, painful decisions need to be made to protect the many. But they never stoop to human sacrifice. Besides, as Shepherd, Artorius will cleanse the world of- If that's what you think, ask the precious Shepherd yourself. Ask him just what he did three years ago. He wouldn't. He'd never... Bad, bad news! A group of Praetors have left the docks and are headed this way! They said they were coming to purge Eleanor the traitor! Purge? Velvet, what do we do? We take them head on. And you're fighting with us, Eleanor. An order, I presume. It is. Protect Lafayette. And defeat the Exorcists. Alright. I understand. Alright, looks like we got some fighting to do. Just remember. If we lose Eleanor, Lafayette will turn into a demon. I haven't forgotten. But we need to pool all the resources we have. She needs us for her own ends. And we'll use that to our advantage in this fight. Just don't push your luck too far, Velvet. And so recently was she a noble, upstanding young exorcist. How quickly one falls when entering Velvet's dark orbit. Ask me if I care. <laughs> All right then, so yeah, we got some exorcist fights to do. Are we able to get our swords beforehand from Kuragane? Because he was 
kind of forging us some swords. Waiting is the only option for now. I guess he's not finished. It looks like Kuragane might be a while whilst he's preparing, what's his name? Rokuru, that's his name. I forgot his name for a second. Rokuru's daggers. I think he's, I think Rokuru is actually with the with Kuragane at the moment, so he's not in our party at the moment. We've just got these five people at the Mo, so we just have to deal with these, I suppose. It's cool that we have so many characters though, like we even have like subs, because we've got so many characters in the party that we've got like subs and stuff, so that's cool, like substitutes. So let's go then, let's, let's go and yeah, let's do this. Let's kill some exorcists, I wonder who it is. Maybe it is... That girl that really hates us, what's her name? And she's got like a brother. I forgot her name, she was like right at the beginning of the story. Let me see, there must be a little thing here because I've forgotten who it was. Is there no character sheet? That's her name, Teresa. I wonder if it's Teresa because there was an exorcist called Teresa and she had a brother as well, I believe. Maybe it's those, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just speculating right now. I just couldn't remember their name. Are we supposed to, where are we supposed to go? What are we supposed to do? Fights off the exorcists invading the mine. Right, it's just up there. Okay, okay. So like, why are they invading this mine? They must have had a tip that we were in here. Cause like, why else would they have arrived here? I'm just gonna skip the enemies here for now. I've fought these enemies loads of times and I can't be bothered to fight them right now. And I'm sure we will be fine. So, which way do I go? I think I'd just go straight up. Or is there a way down this way? Might be a way down this way. No, you can't get over. There's like a little gap there. So I think I have to walk all the way around. All the way around this way. And we'll get there soon enough. Through the hole. Let's keep going. I think we got the chest in this area already. Get ready for an aggressive cutscene. It's always like, oh, we're gonna murder you. We're gonna kill you. <laughs> it's always so aggressive and it's kind of sad, really. I hope, like, we get some really sweet scenes with some of the characters soon. Like, I know they are gonna, like, develop. Like, I know the relationships are gonna develop over time, so I'm sure it's not always gonna be like this. But we will see, we will see. Have we arrived? Where are the exorcists? Who, who is it? Who is it? That's what I'm most concerned about. Praetor Eleanor, you should be ashamed of yourself, cowering to demons. Oh, is it just like Your collusion peons? could spell disaster to the Abbey if left unchecked. The only possible atonement is your death. My god. <laughs> now she's been kind of branded a traitor, but she isn't by Arthurius, unless, unless she just like deceives Arthurius and doesn't do it. And even if she does, he might just still be like, well, actually you betrayed, betrayed us. He might actually say to the other exorcists that she wasn't doing it for him and she betrayed the exorcists, if you know what I mean, maybe, who knows, and then maybe that will make her come on to our party. I don't know, there's got to be something. She's got to find something out about Artorius and it's got to make her come over to our side because otherwise I don't know how we would save Lafacet because otherwise Lafacet would turn into a demon, right, if Elena left. So we really need to keep Elena in our party for good, really, permanently. We can't have her running off of Lafacet because Lafacet seems to be super OP and super powerful and I think he's got a major role in this story, but I'm not quite sure what. He seems to be a key element in this story anyway, from what I've seen, just the way there was like this part where he had to take down a barrier or something and it just kind of showed how strong he was, so he's got to be quite significant I think. Eleanor's feeling really guilty right now. You've betrayed the people and sullied Artorius's ideals. No, that's not... <laughs> Velvet, she's testing me. I know I have to fight. My mission calls for it. But any more of this will kill them. Time for you to die and be purged! Eleanor! Oh god, what's gonna happen? Is she gonna kill them? I can't do it. I can't kill them. I'm not done yet. Oh, it looks like Rocker is back with there. his daggers. Now we're even, Eleanor. You've got new swords. Nice. Sinister. I like it. They do. <laughs> they I take do it look you're sinister. ready. Yeah. 
All that's left is to kill Shigure. I don't think that's gonna be as With me as easy a witness. as he thinks. What do you mean, witness? You haven't even got a head. I, I... Keep on fighting like that, and you'll be killed. And if you get killed, Luffy said we'll lose his vessel. I know that! Wow, that person's still alive. Velvet, wait. You're not going to kill them? I'm just not that hungry right now. I've got new orders for you. Fight the exorcists, but make sure they don't die. Why? Understood. I don't understand. Why Why make sure they don't die? What? <laughs> Aren't they our enemies? Wouldn't it be good to nip the exorcists in the bud? I don't really understand that logic, but okay. I guess that was as far as Eleanor could go. I think so. Push her any further and she's bound to break. <laughs> Ever the virtuous exorcist. That very virtue is what lets her be Lafayette's vessel. Besides, I can't help but admire her commitment. She's enduring total disgrace to accomplish her mission. How uncommonly pleasant of you. Pleasant folks don't use people the way we do. Yeah, you've got that right. Yup, we are not pleasant at all. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I've got enemies here. We got Kuragane's daggers, so let's talk about the daggers and see what our party thinks of them, I suppose. Hey, Bienville? I was wondering if I could talk to you about something that's on my mind. I figured it was just about the time that you and I had the talk, actually. I've seen it all, heard it all, and even tasted it all in my time as a Moloch. Ask me anything you want. Thanks. I was hoping you could let me borrow those books you were reading earlier. If that's okay. Oh, God. You mean how to talk a human female into becoming your vessel? And how to get the cuties? Hey! <laughs> keep it down! Keep it down! Oh, wow. But you Lapis and Madame Eleanor have to already borne a pact. Why do you still need either of those books? Well, it's like when we're alone together, things get so awkward. It's hard to talk with her, you know? <laughs> that happens a lot with Malakim and Vessels who are still new to the whole thing. I've been there. In that case, I've got an even better book for you. Whoa, you read a lot of books. I'm just an avid learner is all. Now let's see. Oh, here we go. Hot Spring Topics, Bearing Your Body and Your Soul. That title, Being though. Being and honest is always the best policy. I... I don't think we'll be bathing in any hot springs together. He's blushing. Do you He's have so anything cute. else? All right, then how about after bath party games, dropping your defenses and your towels? <laughs> Why do you keep trying to get us naked? <laughs> I think that would just make things even more awkward. Picky, picky. Tell you what, you can just look at my collection and pick whatever sounds good. Love hacking. Living long and loving hard. Diary of a diary thief. Hands speak louder than words. Oh my all god, classics. all of his books. I all remember those reading titles. them when Miss Moggy Lou and I were struggling to get along. Oh, to be young again. You ever think maybe things would have been easier if you never read these books? Yeah, I think reading so. Reading the mood. Knowing what to say and how to say it. That one's a winner. A must read for sure. Hey, that doesn't are sound bad. Are you two bad. reading something together? We are. We are. Lafayette has been worried about that awkward distance between you two, and he came to me for some advice. I've heard his side of the story, so let's you and I grab some tea and talk about what to do about it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my God. Knowing what to say and how to say it. I don't think this will help either. Aw, bless Lafayette. He's so cute, isn't he? He's adorable. It's so cute watching him, like, be really, like, just, like, blushing and getting all embarrassed and that. It's so cute, bless him. How old do you think Lafayette is? Because, I don't know, he might be really old because, you know, he's a Malakim, and Malakim live ten times longer than humans, so he might not actually be a child. He might actually be really old. I just, I just don't know. I have no idea how old he is. 
Okay, so this exorcist has seen better days. I think they're all like dead. Are they all dead? Can I pick up their sword? I want their sword. <laughs> I guess not. Ugh, I don't need your pissy tracer. Shush, be quiet. What do we do now? Face Shigure at the ports past the mine. Right, we're gonna face Rokaru's brother. Do we go out? I'm not sure if we have to leave now. I suppose we do. Do we have that headless dude with us? I think we do. I think he's somewhere following us somewhere along the line because he wants to see his, his daggers in action. All right, let's leave this place then. We have to go to the port as well to find the Van Eltia. I'll actually be really glad to get back into a town because we have literally been walking around in dungeon areas for ages. Let me see if I can find where to go. I really don't know where I'm supposed to go here. World map. Let's go to the world map a second. I don't know if this is the right way, but I'm going to go and check. So I went the complete wrong way. I'm back to where the exorcist bodies are. So I'm guessing it's got to be either one of these ways. I think I went backwards, but it, I guess it wasn't really that clear on where to go. Like there's no star. Normally there's like a little star on the map telling us which way to go. I'm getting like, chased by stuff here. I don't know if I'm supposed to, hang on, I want to get that. I don't know if I'm supposed to go through this hole or through the other side because there's like two different ways. I don't think it's this way because that's where there was a chest there so I've already gone that way before so it's got to be this way otherwise I'm kind of lost <laughs> otherwise I don't know where I'm supposed to go is it this way uh, this is this looks like a dead end doesn't it I am completely lost I have no idea where I'm supposed to go can I go and explore the workshop because I don't know what to do should I go in here can I explore the workshop I don't think I've ever really looked in his workshop really I even backtracked all the way to the outside of this mine and I couldn't even find anywhere to go outside there because if you look at the destination if you go onto world map it says that that's the destination it's question question mark which really doesn't help at all so I don't know how to get to there and we're in the Vespa Vesta tunnels here at the moment but I don't know I don't know where to go so I'm a bit confuzzled right now Oh, I got a little chest in the Kuragane's workshop. So we found a worn spear. I don't know if that's useful or not. It doesn't sound very useful, does it? It's worn. <laughs> so it doesn't sound very useful, but you never know. I don't think there's anything else here. I'm just going to have to fight, try and find the way to go now. Oh, hold on. I think I found the way to go. It was near the exit. There was like another path you could take this way. So I'm pretty sure we've got to go this way. And it looks like there's like a little shortcut. But we don't know how to jump over little gaps yet. I'm sure that will come. I'm sure we'll find out how to do that. But at the moment, we can't really get over little gaps at the moment. So let's do some battling. Although I kind of feel like the battling is... I get a little bit bored from doing the battling sometimes. There's not really much to it. I literally, I just button mash and that's it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here, but it just feels a bit boring. I mean, the only buttons to press is occasionally the back buttons so you can do Mystic Heart and, you know, get your Demon Claw out. But I much preferred the combat in Zestiria where you could merge with your Malakims and get awesome powers, although it was still button mashy, actually. It, it was just cool because you could merge with the Malakims and I just thought that was really awesome. There's not really anything to this one, in my opinion anyway. Al although it is quite fast paced, so I suppose that is good. Um, but yeah, not really that impressed with the combat. The enemies look okay. I suppose. Sometimes the models kind of look like robots, I've noticed. I don't know if that's just me, but sometimes like the character models look a little bit stiff compared to usual. They just kind of look a little bit robotic at times. But that might just, just be me. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yep, we're going to carry on down this way. The story so far as well, I think they need to pick up the pace a little bit on the story. It's unbelievably slow. <laughs> like nothing's happening apart from, uh, I don't even know, like I guess we're going to Artorias, but like it just seems really slow. It just seems like it's just us just getting into fights all the time because random reasons. I don't know. Let's open this cat box anyway. We found a cat. Any fashion items or anything? 
No, no items. God, the stingy little things. All right, we've got a barrier here. The door is sealed. Okay, we can need. We need to find one of those like little candle things so we can open the door. Anything round? Okay, here it is. Here it is. I can't remember the button. Did you just check it? Oh, just check it. Okay, I thought there was a specific button, but I suppose not. Okay, I guess that's it. All right, straight through the doorway then. At least I found where to go. Hey, so that's a start. Why did he call your storm howl a reject? Well, you see, when blacksmiths make swords, they don't just make one at a time. They make a whole bunch. The best one of them all is the one that gets presented to the swords commissioner, while the rest are tossed aside. Huh. I didn't realize the standards were so high. The head of my clan gets the real storm howl, and his siblings get the remainders. So one is real, and the others are imitations? I guess so. Shigure has the real one, and... Yeah, guess that makes mine an imitation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to imply... Don't apologize. You got me to finally realize something. It might just be why I'm so hung up on beating him. Oh. And to Velvet? Which Luffy said is real, and which is the imitation? Oh, oh. that's a sore subject, Magalu. She means my name. It's the same as Velvet's brothers. Huh? The one who went and got sacrificed by Artorias. Surely you are mistaken. Our shepherd would never do such a thing. But what else could make Velvet hate Artorias so much? I... I don't... So you have a truth, and Velvet has a truth. Now which is the real one, and which is the imitation? <laughs> Magalu, you little... She's a little troublemaker, isn't she? <laughs> I can just see her just trying to stir it up over there. <laughs> okay, we got a new... We discovered a new sea. Nice. So we can actually explore a new part, which is cool. Have we got all the little bits here? Let me see quickly. How do I... There we go. No, we haven't. We're missing two things in this x sphere c so we're going to keep exploring this sea here until we find the remaining items but for now we're going to stop here and hopefully we can actually make it outside of these tunnels because i am sick and tired of these tunnels we've been in these tunnels for like four episodes and i'm really getting sick of seeing like the same enemies and the same atmosphere the same setting the same landscape i suppose you could say but it's yeah it's slow but i'm sure we'll get somewhere at some point it's just a little bit slow at the moment just seems like it's dragging on a little but we will see we will see i hope you enjoyed this episode thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe and i hope i'll see you next time